Hey, what's shaking guys? It's Kerry Sullivan, the Rockstar Triathlete Academy.com, and I'm going to be talking to you guys today about the science in triathlon. And so basically the main thing that you really want to do in a triathlon is this is you want to maximize your wattage or your power, and you also want to maximize your velocity, which is your speed. And in doing that, you want to use the least energy or burn up the least energy stores that you have. Basically, the person who does this the most effectively or fi uh, efficiently is going to be the fastest person in a triathlon. So today, I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about torque. And torque is basically, um, well, let, let me just put it to you like this. When you have an object in your hand, for instance, let's say, and you hold it out in front of you, that object is going to be heavier further the further away it gets from your body. When it's closer to your body or the lever, your arm is shorter, it's going to there's going to be less torque. And the torque in this case is mainly going to be placed in the shoulder. So when when the object is far from you, you're going to have more torque in the shoulder. When it's closer to you, there's going to be less torque. So why is this important for triathlon? Well, basically what you want to do is you want to minimize good torque or so minimize bad torque and maximize good torque. So what is good torque and bad torque? Basically anytime you are moving your shoulder joint or any kind of joint in your body at all, you're gonna produce some torque. Some torque is gonna um, be beneficial in terms of you're gonna be producing torque to push yourself to go forward, but conversely there's also torque that's being created to counteract that torque going forwards or pushing you yourself forwards. And you, what you wanna do is you wanna minimize the fatigue that's gonna be involved to slow down the torque that's going forwards. So you've got muscles, so when my shoulder is moving back and forth like this, you got muscles that are helping your shoulder move forward, but you've also got muscles that are uh, preventing the shoulder from moving all the way forward as well. So that's kinda of gonna be your quote unquote bad torque. And what you wanna do is you wanna minimize the kind of work and effort that your body's putting out to have this torque relationship to create movement in the human body. So in the next video I'm gonna shoot it out to you guys, I'm gonna be talking about how you can do that specifically so you can go faster in a triathlon with as little effort as possible. If you like this, go to rockstartriathleteacademy.com, sign up for your free tips, and that is it. Rock on guys.